What is pressure? There's no physical aspect of pressure. It's all mental. You literally become stronger and faster because you have adrenaline in your body. I go out and compete and wrestle hard. Kyle's coming in with Max Dean. They just kind of blow, drill a little bit, and they'll do a little bit of live, and there's some functional pattern stuff. Honestly, he's four-time national champ. I trust that he knows what he needs. He knows that he needs a little bit of live, get his heart rate up, doesn't need to kill himself right now. We're just in everyday mode. You were great on top. Believe it and know it, you know what I mean? Just I think that's really where you can separate it. You yeah. know what I mean? Break them mentally there. It's a long match here, you know what I mean? And it's a lot easier. Uh -huh. Right, and you're dictating. Max is a little bear. It's really important for me to wrestle with guys who are a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger, and can really force me to hold good position, and, and I can't get away with easy things. I have to be precise. A lot of times when guys start to practice, they're being told exactly what to do. Very structured, very militaristic, but that's not kind of how I wrestle. I'm more whatever opens up. The quicker I can recognize those openings, the easier I'll be able to do pattern recognition with whoever I step on the mat. You have to be able to win in, in a bunch of different ways. So that's kind of the mode is like, you know, you have to adapt to the situation that is at hand and if the situation calls for counter wrestling or if it calls for you getting on top and getting off the mat as fast as possible, you know, that's just the way it is. I'm gonna get ugly real quick. This thing happens when you're wrestling. There's like this one time where things escalate and you can feel it building, you know, you feel it building and then all of a sudden it's like, boom, we're wrestling live. That's my favorite part. It's unbelievable. Every day that you work out with Kyle Day, you know you're going live. And he brings it every single day. Whatever it is, Kyle's competing to be the best and he's bringing his A game every time. Coming right at you, dude. Coming right at you. So watch him do it once, and then you kind of see what you're doing. Keep it on 12 for this one, too. Switch. Or just last side. 12, switch, both. Three. Come on, keep the protection, take pass. Two. Stop that, that's it. One, one. Kyle doesn't lift weights, which is an anomaly to a lot of people because people talk about he is so strong, he's so explosive. Oh my gosh, unbelievable! With functional patterns, what we're trying to do is stimulate muscles in the way they would in a certain scenario. So with wrestling, we want to try to replicate those rectiforces forces that he'll find on the mat. What you saw today was more dynamic movements. These are uh, situations that he'll find himself on the mat. And that way they practice it and practice it. When they find themselves on the mat, they kind of already know what's going to happen. My training has changed a lot since 2013 when I graduated college. I suffered some pretty crazy injuries. My foot injury, uh, I tore my Liz Frank, fractured my scapula, tore my rotator cuff, tore my labrum, and tore my biceps tendon. Throughout college, I had been taking ibuprofen every single day, you know, just trying to get through workouts and, and things like that, and just wasn't sustainable for me. I needed to feel better if I was gonna continue pursuing my, my dream of becoming Olympic champion. Through my chiropractor, I found functional patterns and, and they really helped me a lot. A couple simple adjustments and all of a sudden I was out of pain again. I didn't need to take that you know, ibuprofen or whatever. That was kind of the straw that broke the camel's back. After that, I was, I was all in. You know, I, I wanted to do everything that I could to make sure that I was gonna be able to compete to my highest abilities. 
I wanted to account for every single variable that was out there. Every time I stop on the mat, I know for a fact that there's nothing more that I could have done to prepare for that event. These are our dogs. Hey, leave it, buddy. Stop, 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 stop. This is Mia. It's okay. I've always questioned everything from when I was a little kid. You know, I wanted to find the most efficient way and the most effective way for me. I've learned a lot about like light therapy. I've learned a lot about biomechanics. I've learned a lot about, you know, our fascial systems, how water affects us, how different foods affect you. Everything kind of comes full circle. Hey, you're getting used to the camera. So I sit up here because the sun rises over those trees and the trees kind of block it early in the morning. You know, it's only been 150 years since we've had artificial light really. So the amount of time you spend in the sun versus the amount of time you spend in the dark was wholly dependent on the sun and sometimes the moon obviously, but now we can be in light 24 seven and our brain doesn't really know when to turn off and sleeping's where all your muscle repair happens. So for the most part, I'm trying to do it for wrestling. And the one benefit is I'm much tanner. You know, thousands of years we've been adapted to not wearing shoes or leather shoes, but your feet are naturally tough. You have a lot of feeling in there, so it's a good feedback system for your brain to say, okay, this is really hot or this is really rocky, tread carefully. But now we've kind of lost all of that feeling with wearing shoes because we don't sense the ground anymore, so we don't know how much force we have to push down in order to make ourselves walk to absorb the electrons from the ground. The best you can do is kind of just hang out with what nature gives you. Good boy. Good boy. Drop. Thank you. So these glasses, they have blue blockers in them because they just block a certain wavelength of light from reaching your eye. On my phone, there's a setting that will filter out all the blue light from your phone. My screen is like completely red and people are always seeing like, why is your screen red? So blue light really affects your sleep cycle. You could have the best diet in the world. You know, you could be working 18 hours a day under blue light and still get sick. Come here. Come here. This is when he's tired. And I'm done. Everyone wants to be athletic. Everyone wants to train as hard as they can to make sure that they can go out and compete to a high level. But that's not the only piece of the puzzle. There's many other pieces. My goal is to be an Olympic champ and everything that I do goes through that filter. You know, is this gonna make me an Olympic champion? Yes, okay, I'll do that. Is this gonna make me an Olympic champion? No, but it could help. Okay, I'll do that. I needed to make sure that I was ready to go. And I'm making sure that I'm ready to go for these next three years. Last one. All right.